First, to turn on the board, you use the power button right here. Click it, it'll light up. It will take a few minutes to turn on. First, before you turn on any light, you need to make sure the Grandmaster is up or else nothing will show on stage. To turn on a specific light, you need to know their lighting channel. That's what they're plugged into um, in the grid. So let's say I want to turn on light number five. I would click five at in whatever intensity I would like it to be at. So right now, full, enter. And now five is on on stage. If I want to turn on, let's say at 25%, I can say five at 25, enter. And the same thing, turn it out. I can say five at out. And now the light is out. If I want to turn on multiple lights, I can use the plus button, the minus button, and the through button. So I can turn on two through 10 at full. I can turn on two through 10 minus eight if you don't want eight on. Or I can turn on two plus four plus 10. So to record a cue, you need to turn on every light that needs to be on during that cue. So let's say this cue is two plus four plus six at full. Now that those lights are on, I can click record, cue, and whatever number that cue is. Let's say that's 172, 172, enter. And now we recorded cue 172. To go to a specific cue, you can click here, the go to cue button. And now I can choose what cue I want to go to. Setting a submaster, which is one of these sliders over here, um, is just very similar to writing a cue. First, you turn on whatever you want, so two plus four plus six at full. Now that the lights are where we want it to be, we can click record sub, whatever sub you want it to be on. So these first subs are one through 10, 11 through 20, 21 through 30, and 31 through 40. So if you want to record this one, 35, record sub 35, enter. Now we click these two buttons at the same time, just to make sure it's recorded, and turn out the lights that you were using. Now when I move the slider, the lights that I programmed to this turn on. To switch between different pages on the lighting board, you go to these tabs right here. This is the live summary. Over here, we have the cue list. This is a color picker that you can use when using the side lights and LEDs. And this is the patch for you to see what address um, a specific light is on or what type of light it is. If you don't see the tab that you're looking for, you can click the little plus right here and scroll through. Here's the channels, here's the patch. This is the patch where you can find in the patch summary if you press the little plus button. Um, it shows what every light is and its address and its channel number. So all the numbers right here, channel 80, 45, all through 100, these are all dimmer type lights. But if we scroll down, we have psych lights, which are hung in the back above the psych to change the color. These each have 10 addresses in order for it to change color. Same thing for the Colorados, which are the LEDs that are over stage. They each require five channels to turn lights. I'm sorry, two. To set an effect on a light, first you need to know what effect you want to use. If you go to the same little tab area, you can find the effects tab and you can scroll through and find the one you want to use. For this demonstration, we're going to use 917 Rainbow RBG. So from the live summary, you're going to type in the channels that you want and the effect they're going to be. So in this case, I want the LEDs to have it. So channels 103 through 114 are the LEDs. Click the effect button and the number of effect you want to do, which is 917. Enter. And it may be hard to see, but the lights on stage are kind of flickering in and out. To take an effect off, what you need to do is have the same channels highlighted that you want to take it off and click instead effect. No number, just the channels effect, enter. And that takes the effect off.
board off is not as simple as pressing the button. Do not press that button to turn off the board. Instead, what you're gonna do is make sure every single light is off. So we're gonna do one through 1,000 out. Even though we don't have 1,000 channels, it still makes sure everything is off. Next, we're gonna turn down the Grandmaster, as well as any Submasters that might be up. We want to make sure that no lights are on. Once everything is down, you can, on the screen, click power off device right down here. Click OK, and the board will turn off on its own. 